Okay. Um, make it a video. Um, well, first off, when I, I'm gonna start off by telling y'all what I did in my hair today. All I did was bleach my scalp with a uh, Africa's Best Maximum Strength Super Pro Conditioner, whatever they call it. And I put it some on the ends of my hair too, and I just put it in a bun and put it on a headband. Cause I don't really feel like doing nothing to my hair today. I'm not really going anywhere, to my knowledge. But um, <laughs> but um, that's not what the video is mainly about. The video is mainly about um bad parenting. I hate <laughs> bad parenting skills. Like people that shouldn't be parents are parents, and it's really stupid. A lot of people that know me or have been around me, they will they hear me say that I don't like kids, I don't want kids, I don't wish to have any in the future. It's to my knowledge right now, I don't ever want kids. But um like y'all might be saying, well, why do you care then? The fact is I still care because I don't ever wanna see nobody treated this way ever. I feel like especially a child, like you don't deserve to be treated like this. It doesn't make any sense. Like this is a number of examples, like a number of ways I've seen this. Um, one way is, like, have you ever seen a person that got, like, five or six kids, and they, like, I didn't put the wig. The parent got, like, all nice things on, like, they got nice clothes, nice shoes and everything. And then you look at the kids, like, they look like shit. Like, they hair all fucked up, they clothes just, like things and everything and then like they just look a mess like why are you looking like brand new but then your kids looking a damn mess first of all if you don't have this money to take care of your kids don't have so many second of all if you got all the money to put on name brand everything then you can get some walmart clothes or whatever and <laughs> you can split it like equally amongst everybody you got five kids you can put some clothes on everybody but the fact is like then the next example, like this lady here, she party like all night, almost every night, drink all day, smoke all day. Then she like she parties like I said, she parties all night. So a person that parties all night, they don't have a job. She sleeps all day. She has an eight year old. <laughs> she has an eight year old son. Like he wants to play. There's no one here for him to play with all day, and you're his mother. What you expect him to do? He's going to bother you. He wants to play. He's bored. He can't play PlayStation all day by himself. He wants to play. And she hits him because she wants him to leave him, like leave her alone while she sleeps. But she's sleeping all day. He sleeps at night. What you think he's going to do? See, like, she's yelling at his ass. I don't know what they're saying, but she's yelling at him, and he probably just want to play. I don't know. But the fact that that's bad parenting. That's really bad parenting and it doesn't make any sense to me because if you would go to sleep at the regular time when he goes to sleep, then you wouldn't be sitting here trying to sleep in the daytime and he wants to play. Then the dumb part is she invites like random dudes, like she might know them for a little bit, but she'll have them in her house to play with her son. Then the dumb shit about it is if you have somebody in your house to play with your son, and it's daytime and you want to go to sleep, go to sleep. She's sitting there and she just stands in the fucking kitchen, not doing shit. Like, she rents and just random shit that don't need to be rent. She just rents and shit, looking at TV, and they playing together. I'm like, well, go to sleep. Go to sleep. You got him here to play with him. Go to sleep. But then the fact is that you do go to sleep, you don't know this man might be a pervert. He might do something to your son. So the fact is, you never know. First of all, you shouldn't have no strange ass men in your house with your son. Second, you can walk away for any second and some shit will happen. Second, you should be playing with your own son. Pull it out. What do you expect he's going to do? He don't have nowhere else to go. He don't have nothing to do. And it, it just, to me, it's really stupid. Then, she, yesterday, her, okay. yesterday, her mom, like, she's a 44-year-old woman. Her mom had to come yesterday and take the boy away. She was like, oh, he's not coming back until you learn how to be a mother, whatever he, whatever he said. But um, he's back today. It ain't even been 24 hours. The boy is back. Like, I told, what I told you, I was like, he gonna be back tomorrow. <laughs> I was like, he gonna be back tomorrow because nobody wants to deal with him. Like, I hate, another thing is, 
it annoys me when people sit here, like, you can, you can have kids, and if you're not ready, you can have, like, I don't know, if you ain't ready, you ain't ready, it ain't no hard in that, but the fact is, you have your parents, your parents have raised you, and they are done, they don't want to sit here and raise your kids because you're too tired and you want to go party or whatever. It's okay every once in a while, and if your parents don't mind doing it, okay, but you shouldn't be throwing your kids off on them every chance, like, every chance you get. It's so dumb. Like, it is so stupid. But, I don't know. I just feel like it's a lot of people out there that have kids for no reason, and they don't know what they're doing. Like, that's why I don't want kids. I don't know what the fuck to do with kids. Like, I don't know what they need when they cry. I don't know what to do with them. I don't know how to treat them. I don't know. So, therefore, I prevent myself from accidentally having any kids. So, until I'm ready, I'm not trying to have no kids. And I know damn well I'm not ready right now. So, I'm not having no kids. But, all y'all parents that are good parents and you have things to show that your parents, like, your kids respect you and they like being around you and you like being around your kids and everything you're a good parent if your parent if your kids come home every day and they run into your arms and they're like telling you about their day then you're a good parent if your kids come home and don't even say shit to you and you don't say shit to them you're a bad parent I was terrible but yeah so I and it, it happens like it happens a lot because it's like a lot of times you see that happening you like, well, damn, why do they have kids if you train your kids like this? But I don't understand. It's like, I think it'd be an accident, and they don't know what they're supposed to do. Like, they don't want to put it up for adoption. I don't know what it is. But it's like, if you feel like you're going to be a shitty parent, I think the best option is to put them up for adoption. I don't know. But that's all I want to say. So, bye.